when do you know you've purchased too many art supplies? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to show you everything that I purchased from Amazon. These are all sort of budget items that I thought would be interesting to go through. Oh, they're so heavy. Okay, so I scoured Amazon to see what I could purchase on a budget to let you guys know of some really good finds. So I'm going to show you everything I've purchased and I will leave a link to everything in the description box. We're gonna dive into what I've purchased from Amazon and all of these items I've bought in mind to be a little bit more budget friendly. I'm going to start off fairly small. I had so many comments telling me that I should try out the Uniball Signo pens because I've been using the Jelly Roller pens and I've just not been getting the results that I wanted. So I picked up three of their white Uniball pens and I'm really excited to try them out. I like the feeling of them. They feel a lot more sturdy and better quality than the Jelly Roller pens that I have been using. There's a really nice hand grip on there and I think these ones are going to be so much better to use. So just the feeling of this alone feels so much nicer than the other one. So I've got three of them. They cost me £5.50 for three pens, which I thought was a really good buy. And the reviews on these things are so, so good. So I will leave a link in the description box for anything that I have purchased. So you can go and check them out yourselves. Next up, I needed to get a new kneadable eraser. This one comes in a little handy case. My last one completely dried out. Out. So I think this one's going to be much better at storing it and making sure it doesn't just dry out and it's not usable. This was so inexpensive, £2.50. So if you're needing a really small gift or a stocking filler or anything like that, this could be a good option for somebody that enjoys drawing. This one is by Faber-Castell. So I know Faber-Castell are a really good brand. I use quite a few of their products. So I thought this one was going to be a really good buy. And for £2.50, I could not grumble. I bought two sets of colouring pencils, one inexpensive set and I know Crayola are a well loved brand. They obviously have been going for such a long time, they are nothing revolutionary in terms of me showing you a golden hidden gem but I wanted to buy myself a set because I don't actually own a set of Crayolas in these colours. I've got skin tone Crayolas but not these. So I wanted to buy these to test them out against some of my more expensive brands which I will show you in an upcoming video. But these ones were £3.50, 24 pencils, and I thought these ones would be perfect for anybody wanting some colouring pencils for a colouring book or just starting out. If you've got a young artist at home, these ones could be a really good starting point. Sticking with colouring pencils, I saw these. Amazon's always trying to recommend me colouring pencils. They know me so well. They know I'm a sucker for a pencil. I saw these and I thought these were an absolute absolute perfect dupe to a Prismacolor. They look so similar to Prismacolor. They are only £20 for 72 pencils, which is insane. Here in the UK, it's really difficult to find the Prismacolor colouring pencils. And when you do, they're really expensive and you just don't know whether you're going to get the true article or whether they're going to be fake, especially if you're buying from Amazon. So I purchased these ones. I'm going to test them out. I'm going to see how they compare to my Prismacolors and to see if this is a really good dupe. So, 72 pencils, under 20 pounds. I think these would make an amazing gift for somebody. For 20 pounds, it's very unlikely that they're going to be light fast because they are very, very inexpensive. However, I think that these are going to be a really good buy for anybody that is wanting to get into coloring pencils without spending a lot of money. Ohuhu markers. I picked up some Ohuhu markers. I got a 48 set and these were 31 pounds, but they had a 5% discount voucher to use at the checkout. 
about, which brought them down to under £30. They ended up costing 61 pence per marker, which is absolutely incredible. When you consider some of the leading brands like Copic markers are going to set you back like £5, £10 per marker, these ones work out at 61 pence, which I think is incredible value. And I've heard such good things about these that I am so excited to use them. I've never been really into alcohol markers, but I am looking forward to using these. I'm looking forward to testing them out. I'm going to swatch them and I'll give you my first impressions in an upcoming video. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that one. To go alongside my alcohol markers, I also picked up this Windsor and Newton alcohol marker bleed proof paper it's a4 50 sheets of paper and it's 75 gsm it's got a smooth finish to the paper which i am used to quite a thick paper that's got a tooth to it so this is going to be very different for me to use but i am looking forward to testing those markers out and trying something new this was under seven pounds i think this was something like six pounds fifty and it was really highly reviewed it had really good reviews and so if you were to buy them alcohol markers markers and the paper that's going to cost you less than £40 but definitely keep an eye out on Amazon because they do change their prices frequently you can get some incredible deals on that one of the things I always like to have handy in my little studio is some canvas boards so I picked up a set of 10 they are 20 by 20 centimeters or 8 inches by 8 inches and like I say, there are 10 in the set and this cost me £10, so a £1 per canvas board. And these are so handy just to have if you're wanting to put ideas together. These ones aren't obviously artist grade, so you know, I won't be selling things that are on these canvases because the quality isn't going to be as good as others. However, for testing ideas and just putting ideas on to a canvas outside of your sketchbook can be a very useful thing to do and sometimes you don't want that to break the bank. So £10 for 10 canvases and you know these can be reused as well, you can then paint over them again and again. Um, so you could like gesso over them, repaint over them, repurpose them, reuse them. £10 for 10 canvases and I thought this was a really good deal. They're unbranded but for me that's absolutely fine, I'm not really too worried about things Things like that I just wanted something to be able to paint on. I was really intrigued by these gouache paints I thought that they looked really nice in this set here there are nine little tins within here and just look at that how nice do they look they come individually in these little tins that one has burst out of there a little bit which is unfortunate. Hopefully the rest of that won't be dry because that will be a disappointment. This might end up being a um, tale of what not to buy on Amazon. Let's see, I can't even open it. Oh my gosh, oh, they're just really tough to open. So if you have trouble with your hands, these ones might not be the best for you. So if you have like arthritis and things like that, these ones would probably be quite difficult. I thought they looked really good and I loved the colors, but looking at them now i'm not sure whether i made the right choice i didn't expect them to kind of be bursting out of the tins this one has as well i think this might be something i send back because there's no way i'm going to be opening these because they've dried shut anyway they cost me 10 pounds for nine gouache paints however Two of them have been sent like this. I can't get into them. So another item that I purchased is this six set of paintbrushes. Paintbrushes are always really handy to have. I absolutely love my Jackson's Raven and Quill paintbrushes. They can be really expensive to collect. So if you are needing some paintbrushes, then a set like this would be a really good way to get started. This set was just under seven pounds. So it's six pound 98, which I think is an absolute steal for paintbrushes. They are synthetic round brushes, but they can be used for oils, acrylics, and watercolors. So I thought these ones were a really nice paintbrush to have. They've got a fairly long handle as well. So 
they're quite versatile. I wanted to get some paintbrushes with slightly longer handles so I can use them when I'm working on an easel. Um, they're not super long, but they're not really short either. So they're a really nice sort of in-between um, handle. And I'll most likely use these for acrylics. Now my, my Raven brushes, and my quill brushes by Jackson's, I use those only for watercolors. I don't really have any go-to paintbrushes for when I use acrylics. So if you could let me know in the comments what paintbrushes you think I should buy or which ones you think I would like, let me know. I really like synthetic brushes. I tend to go for those over a natural hairbrush, um, but if you could give me some recommendations for acrylics, let me know in the comments. And then last but not least, I picked up a tape dispenser with 10 tapes. Now I'm always, always losing my washi tapes. So I thought this would be the most handy little item to have on my desk or on my little shelf behind me. So I'll never lose my tape again. Well, in theory, I'll never lose my tape again. They're all very neutral in color. I got 10 tapes and the tape dispenser for 10 pounds, which I thought was a very, very good price. You can get the tapes on their own without the tape dispenser. And that was slightly less. That was sort of eight pounds, I believe but I decided to go for the tape dispenser because I knew I was likely to lose my washi tapes. So I do like all of these colors together and I think this is going to be really useful just having on my desk when I'm painting and wanting to get those nice sharp edges around one of my little paintings. So really happy with that. I think all of these are absolutely perfect for beginners and also if you're wanting to give a gift, I think these items would be absolutely brilliant gifts for people, especially with Christmas coming up. 